Hello everyone, how are you? I want to talk a minute about terminal velocity. You jump out of a plane and before you pull the parachute you might achieve a constant velocity of 150 miles an hour, 175 miles an hour. You stop accelerating. I accelerate at 10 meters per second squared, but there's going to be a time when I'm going to stop accelerating. If I stop accelerating, I know that my net force is zero. So, at terminal velocity, my net force is zero. And the reason is this. Air resistance is a force. It's a friction. If I, if I, if I shoot some air, you'll see, you'll feel that across the room. Okay? You'll feel that across the room. And that creates a force. So, so, when my downward weight, that force, is moving fast enough so it meets enough air, so the upward air flow we call air resistance, air resistance, force of air resistance, it's kind of like a type of friction, it's kind of like a friction, it's a friction, so when those are equal, my net force is zero, when my weight and my air resistance are equal and opposite. Direction of the motion is positive. The direction of the air resistance would be negative. It would be opposite. Plus, minus, equal and opposite. It would be zero. So, where you have no net force, velocity is constant. Terminal velocity. Terminal velocity simply means where the downward weight equals the upward air resistance. The downward force equals the upward force. Net force is zero, no acceleration. Have a great day and be careful out there.